that we have already talked. And if we look at the genome in much more detail, what we can find, if we linearize, if we circularize that genome in one circle, what we can find, we can find several clusters. Okay, now the genome usually encodes for 11 proteins. Among them, some are structural, some of them are required for other functionality. Now, among them, the group 1 proteins here uh, are called the phage DNA synthesis proteins. These are encoded by gene 2 and gene 10 and gene 5. So, gene 2, 10 and 5, these three different segments of the gene responsible for production of the proteins required for the DNA synthesis of that bacteriophage virus. Now, the second cluster of genes are capsid structure proteins, which are we have already known that 8, that's 3, 6, and 9, and 7. So, 7, 9, 8, 3, and 6. So, this is another cluster which is required for the production of capsids. And the third cluster of the proteins that are present, third cluster of genes that are present, are the assembly gene, which is helping uh, to assemble the DNA of phage inside the capsid. And these are the gene number 1, 4, and 11. So gene number 1, 4, and 11 present there. And I, I want to uh, introduce your focus to this concept that we can see that under this uh, gene number 2 and gene 1, we can see uh, the ingested genes, genes like 10, genes like 11, they are incorporated with another gene. Which is in, here in this case, gene, uh, gene 10 is incorporated inside the gene 2, here gene 11 is incorporated inside gene 1. And some of the genes uh, can be transcribed continuously, some of them are transcribed uh, independently, and sometimes some of them, uh, and they are having a two different clusters from two different origins actually. That's another very important point here. So from this origin, one type of replication can go on from this right hand side clockwise direction, another type can go from this anti-clockwise direction. So both the direction uh, replication is possible. So there are two strong transcription terminators present there after the gene 8 and gene 4. So let's see, G after the gene 4 and after the gene 8, there are two transcriptional terminators written as IG sequence here in this case. Okay. And this IG are called major intergenic region. Now, intergenic region of 508 nucleotides, which contains a number of regulatory genes which are regulating the packaging and origin of replication. Okay, but except for that, we are having a kind of termination signal in both these ends after 8 and after after 4 at both this end. Okay, and here what we can see a tra tra transcription terminator which is a row dependent one and in this both this end we are having row independent transcription terminator sites present. Okay, 